My message to the losers, losers look in the mirror. No? <laughs> well, maybe you should, sorry. Well, that's my feeling. Losers look in the mirror, okay? You know, for, yeah. I mean, for months, Democrats have been saying, how is this even close? And they're right, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I know this will get me in trouble, but I really, really wish Taylor Swift had done an event with Vice President Harris in Pennsylvania two months ago. Okay, I just had to say that because she is so powerful and it's not fair that the weight of the world should be on a pop star's shoulders. One of the big losers, the celeb crowd. We touched on this yesterday. Beyonce, loser. Oprah, huge loser. J-Lo. You matter, you matter. <laughs> Loser, no one cares what you think. If you wanna talk to me about what it is you're doing to your skin, I'm all in, go on, I, you got my full attention. If you wanna tell me who to vote for or what's happening with the economy or immigration, please sit down, <laughs> no one cares. We would like to know what happened between you and Ben Affleck, what happened between you and P. Diddy, exactly what you're doing to your butt and how you keep your skin so glowy. That will end the list of things we care about JLo's opinion on. Yes, Libra women are going crazy. I don't know if you have seen this. When you take a look at this article, you can clearly see what is going on. Some took a decision like they will never have anything to do with a man simply because men voted for Trump. If you voted for Donald Trump, you hate America, you hate women, you hate democracy, I'm sorry for your mom. It is evident that a Trump supporter has never read a book, probably doesn't have that comprehension, has never written a coherent sentence ever. Do not waste your breath on these people. Anytime that you're talking to a Donald Trump supporter, just call him a Nazi, call him a fascist, keep it moving. These people are beyond the right of education. When you choose to get mission, you choose to eat that shit up, when you choose not to look deeper, that is on you. That is not on us. Because I chose to take the extra steps to not get lied to, but you, you were warmed by the ignorance. We're so scared of a woman in power that you'd rather cozy up to the white man just in case some crumbs fall off his plate so that you may eat from them. Yes, scraps. I don't know how to work this thing, but I'm on my way. I'm gonna figure it out. Let's just do some cutting. You know why? Because this is taking too long. Donald Trump offers to help the broke Democrat party with their debt problems. Trump tweeted this. I am very surprised that the Democrat who fought a hard and valiant fight in the 2020 presidential election, raising a record amount of money, didn't have a lot of love over. Now they are being squeezed by vendors and others Whatever we can do to help them during this difficult period, I would strongly recommend we as a party and for the sake of desperately needed unity, do we have a lot of money left over in that our biggest asset in the campaign was and media and that doesn't cost very much. Make America great again. Trump is offering to give Democrat money so they can pay off they are there. If you don't know, I think I put out a video where Kamala spent over one billion. We saw cases where Oprah took one million just to set up. And this daddy podcast, the same thing. A lot of people are extremely furious about this. There's this sense, right, that whiteness right, is under threat, the demographic shifts, the country isn't, all of these racially ambiguous children on Cheerios commercials are confusing the hell out of me. Right? Eddie, a lot of people voted because their life's too damn expensive, and it, and it was here, and it they was- They voted for, you're telling me, Stephanie, that all of these people who believe that their lives are, that bread is too high and eggs are too high, that they voted for a convicted felon, a guy who said we can grab the pea. I think that a lot they of They voted for I, this I, listen, guy. I'm not defending it. 
but I think there are tons of people that don't pay attention to, and I'm not defending it, don't pay attention to politics at all. But we, while we live in the most prosperous country in the world, people are saying, life's not fair, I'm not doing well, my son's still living in the basement, I can't seem to get a job, I don't like the status quo, I'm voting for something else, and he's I person. love you to I life, love you. Oh. but I do not believe that. I cannot believe that. And the reason I think you believe it is because you don't want to believe that that's what's really motivating them. It's always the case. We, people don't want to believe what the country actually is. Because if they believe it, they're going to have to confront what's in them. I don't believe that. They voted for a crook. A person who they know is stealing from just doing everything to undermine the so-called country that they love. And then they're telling us the BS that it's economics. We know that's not true. Something happened. We just discovered that Oprah was paid one million and all these social media influencers were paid. According to the Washington examiners, there was one million for Oprah Winfrey production on October 15 in West Hollywood, California. Oprah, a top Harris ally, appeared at a town hall with a vice president in September and was at her final rally in Philadelphia. You can now understand why all these celebrities show up with a scream. Because they have been paid. Oprah was there preaching, talking to women. Why putting money in her back? It is insane to see these people. I said on one of my videos, never trust these celebrities. Yeah, if you have money, they will back in to see who is paying higher to appear on stage. But I'm glad that Trump never did that. Trump is not paying people to show up. They will fake up something like a concert. At the end of the day, the celebrities, musicians will appear. They will not even perform two minutes speech. That is all. It, then you tell me, how can somebody win an election with all these? Kamala raised one billion, and from what I'm understanding from that article, they are even having debt. So I'm liking what I'm hearing about the blue friendship bracelet movement, but I personally want something more permanent, more serious. I'm wholeheartedly devoted to what I believe in, and that's love. Um. So can we come up with a tattoo and placement of that tattoo to mark ourselves, to identify ourselves to other women and men uh, who share our values, um, who know that we are a safe person to be with? I will gladly get this agreed upon tattoo. Um, I, I'd like to get it today, but I'm sure we can't agree that quickly. Um, so to all the men and women out there um, who feel cheated and betrayed and a little bit lost, what tattoo are we getting and where are we putting it? Um, excuse the black eyes. I'm a single mom of two boys. Got hit in the head with a baseball on election day. So, yeah, it seems appropriate. <laughs> I want you to know what would change after doing this. These people are getting out of hand. <laughs> Comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. So with that, I'm going to shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. Elected that guy. You mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute absolute prick i can't stand him but anyway um <laughs> it's just my thought bubble out loud we took a look at some of their reactions to the news of trump's win look at this hey there how are you doing if you watch this show regularly i'm guessing you're not doing great yeah me neither let's be honest it was a terrible night last night it was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants. Is, what will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right, now's the time to stand in solidarity with our friends, with our neighbors. Well, <laughs> Bishop Vigano, he says that the 